All right, it's Dr. Dan. I'm back. This is where we left off in SolidWorks with our last video. Uh, we have all our blood vessel shapes extruded, but it doesn't look like any flow is going to actually go through there. So we kind of have to think about what we need to do. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I realize that this big main blood vessel is not going to be able to go all the way up to the top. So I'm going to make sure that's shortened. And so it's one of these extrudes. That's the one. So I, I can just right click on it and edit feature. And so right now I have it extruding up to the vertex but now i decided i'm going to do a blind originally i made it 50 millimeters let's go ahead and make it 35 millimeters see how that looks it gets it out of the way it lets me see what's going on uh, we'll probably have to make it a little bit bigger to accommodate this one too um, but we'll see we'll see what happens so right now th these don't intersect each other but these two are blocking each other and so i want to unblock them and the way to do that is to trim out the pieces that are blocking. Um, and so the, there's a tool to do that. It's insert surface trim. And there's two ways to do it, a standard trim or a mutual trim. A standard trim is where you select a single trim tool to cut another piece, and then you select the piece you want to cut. Mutual means you select both pieces and it will cut them both at the same time. So we're going to try mutual. Uh, I can't promise it's going to work. Um, and if it doesn't, that's when I, I default back to standard. But we're not using this extrude one. So I'm going to select the surfaces. That's one surface. That's another surface. And then it wants me to, I can either click on pieces I want to keep or pieces I want to remove. And so because the pieces I want to keep are the big visible pieces, I'm, that's what I'm going to select. And then when you look at the preview, you can see either, if I click on this, it'll say show included pieces. If I click on this, it'll show the deleted pieces. If I click on this, it'll show them both in different colors. Well, I usually choose to show excluded surfaces because that way I can see that it's cutting what I expect it to cut. So I know I'm gonna keep that. Oops. Surfaces to cut are those two. Then down here, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that. And so you can see in yellow, those are the thing that's are gonna get cut. Okay, that's what that means. If I wanted to go see what's going to get kept, I hit that plus, and you can see that's what's going to get kept. So it looks like it's going to work. And now we can look in there, and you can see it makes a nice uh, vessels that are actually open so that fluid can flow in there as we expect. It's really nice. Okay, the next thing we want to do is somehow connect this big vessel up to here. You know, I might actually be able to loft between that and that. We're going to go ahead and try and see what happens. So I'm going to say insert surface loft. Select that one, select that one. Oh yeah, I can. So you can see I was able to loft between those two. Um, but I do want to, undo, I'm going to undo that because I want to show you, like sometimes there's just a, you have to do something differently. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's delete this one. And so instead of doing that loft, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to, like I said, cut this flat and then loft to it. So I'm going to, you know what I'm really going to do is hide all these planes because they're getting a little bit annoying. Okay, I am going to keep plane 5 because that's the one I'm interested in. Uh, and so I'm going to make a new plane that's parallel to plane 5 but up a little higher where I'm going to cut this piece off right there. Insert reference geometry plane. Okay, so you can see I have the first plane selected and it's just, it's defining an offset from that first plane. So I can say flip offset. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty close. I don't want to, I don't want to necessarily cut this other piece, I'm going to make it a little less than 3.7. 3.5 is not small enough. 3. Okay, that is cutting it close, but we'll do 3.1. Okay, I think that will cut a nice planar cut across there. And so the reason I did that is now I can use that plane, plane 7, as a trim tool. So I go to Insert, Surface, Trim. 
And so instead of mutual, I'll just use standard, where I select my trim tool, which is plane 7, and then I select the parts I want to keep on this. So I select that, and you can see it's going to cut off that bottom part, which is what I want it to do. Check. And so that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, and so some, I'm doing this because I just I, you might have to do this uh, in order to get things to fit together. And now I can loft from this surface down to this one. Sometimes, though, in order to do that, like we just cut this cylinder at this angle, and so that's not really a shape anymore. And sometimes you might even end up with a really weird shape. And so I'm going to show you how you can make sure you define that as a sketch. Okay, so on in this plane, I'm going to draw a sketch. I'm going to select this curve, and on I'm going to do Convert Entities. And that will make my selection into a sketch. Okay, so now Sketch 11 is the edge of that. If you ever have trouble trying to define like an, uh, a, a surface or a, a sketch, you can always do that Convert Entities to do that. And so now I'm going to go ahead and do Insert surface loft okay i'm going to go from this sketch here to that sketch there again so you can see how it kind of twisted because i don't have those green dots lined up as well as i could oops that's across the way sometimes it takes some work to get this where you think it's going to be all right let's try again All right, there we go. Hit OK, and then we have our connection. So we could do the we could do that loft uh, either way. Uh, so of course now I have to cut out um, this blockage too, right? And so it looks like it's going to be pretty easy. I was concerned about that before, um, but it looks like things are going to work out okay here. So I can go to Insert, Surface, Trim. Okay, I'm going to do a mutual trim again. Uh, because I want to make sure both of them are open to each other. So the surfaces are that surface and that surface. And I'm going to collect which selections I want to keep. So it's that one and that one. And it's going to say that's what I'm going to cut out. Looks good to me. And so now you can see if we look in there, we have all our surfaces are ready for flow simulation, essentially. So I'll end this video here, and the next video we'll press on.